Ohio versus James Walsh, case number 23, CR 367. The defendant is present with counsel Kelly Zacharias. We're here today for sentencing. We were last before you on July 20th, 2023, for a change of plea, where the defendant pled guilty to count one, possession of a fentanyl-related compound. Um, a PSR and drug and alcohol evalu evaluation were ordered and have since been completed. The defendant has 29 days of jail time credit, and at this time the state would ask that count two be dismissed. Thank you. All right, Ms. Zacharias. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, we're here for sentencing today. Um, some events have transpired since the last time we were here. Um, Mr. Walsh uh, did test positive after the change of plea with him for a drug test, um, and he was charged with an OVI that, from an incident that occurred back in May. Um, he, uh, we've discussed briefly the possibility of treatment. Um, he would like to go home, um, get his affairs in order. Uh, he rents his place. His dad is having um, bladder surgery in a few days. He'd like to pay some bills, help his dad out, um, and then he would be amen amenable to a treatment program. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, Mr. Walsh, what do you want to tell me? Good afternoon, Your Honor. First thing, I'd like to apologize to the court for even having to be here today. Um, it's not an excuse or anything. Um, my, uh, as my attorney addressed the court a minute ago, my father is having his bladder removed in a few days. He's fighting cancer, and uh, I'm behind on a couple little bills. I have the money. I would like to pay them, and I would, if, if the court recommends treatment, I would definitely report freely and willingly I am not of any, uh, how can I put it, Your Honor, uh, ma'am? Light risk. To light risk at all, sir. I just need to get a few affairs in order and make sure my dad, my father's 80. I, he's my, all I got. I lost my wife a few years back. My father's my, he's my soul. Again, I apologize for even having to waste the court's time to be here today, sir. Well, you're here. So. Yes, sir. Um, I sensed that something was wrong here when you pled because you didn't seem to be all there. Okay. And you were high, right? No. I, I, when, I came, when I came into court, I, I wasn't using, but I was probably scared. Well, but you tested positive for fentanyl. Okay. That, that wasn't my desire. I was trying to use cocaine. Okay. Well. I, yes, sir. I note this respect. Um. You don't really think you have a problem, right? I don't know how to answer that. I don't know how to answer, sir. Well, I think I think I I, I, I get that conclusion from what you said. Can I say something, sir? Being through all this, and I, I didn't do anything for ten years. I could walk out of this courtroom today and never, never turn to another drug. I, I'm well, then, so then, why, then why did you? You know, I, it, it, and there's no excuse whatsoever, Your Honor. I, it, my, my wife's anniversary is July 31st. I found out my dad had cancer about six months ago. I just kind of went off the rails a little bit. That, that, there's no justification to it, Your Honor. Zero. None. I, I got a good job. I'm a union pipe fitter. I pay my bills. I just went off track for a little bit, and I'm damn sorry for it now. Well, you got to be in, in court tomorrow, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, for, sir. For what? Uh, one of the charges of the F5, they attach an OVI to it. And my license was good for 20 years. Now it's going to be suspended. What I'll are, drive. What are the other charges? I'm, I'm not you sure. Know? I believe the possession of drugs. I, it, it was an F5. Okay. Well, you were supposed to go to court on August 16th. Uh, right? Yes, sir. I, I was incarcerated, Your Honor. I, I know that, but they came to get you to take you, and you wouldn't get out of your cell. 
That's not that's that's not true. Well, it is true. So they never came to get you to take you to court. You know what, Your Honor? You said August sixteenth. Right. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna back up. I don't want to disrespect you at all. I, I could I, I, on my wristband here. August sixteenth. I was brought to the hospital. I had kidney failure. Okay. Call Bowen. Just find out what's what. I'll be back. Thank you, sir. A few moments later. All right. So the problem with you is, is that as soon as you get the chance to get loose, you're grabbing drugs. No, Your Honor. You, no, yes, you are, okay? Cause, because you were out on bond here, and when you came here to plead, you had, that was uh, July 20th, you had Benzodiapazine, whatever the hell it is, opiates, fentanyl. Can I say something, Your Honor? You had that in your system. And then you're out there after a warrant was out and you get arrested and you get, you, you got charges in Willoughby, one, one of them including a, a felony five drug offense. So, you keep grabbing drugs wherever you can when you get out. Now, what did you want to say? Your Honor, the, any of the, the, the drugs that are uh, besides the uh, cocaine and fentanyl are false positives. I, I took some Advil PMs. Is that how, is that how you test positive for benzo? I, I was at uh, Duke and Meridia Hospital. The, the day before uh, the 19th of September, I'm sorry, the, the 19th of July, Yukon Meridia. I, I didn't take any benzos outside of, I, I just, that's just not my MO, sir. It doesn't look but, like that. But you that. tested positive for them. Yes, sir. I think I was, I believe I was given that in Yukon Meridia hospitals, Your Honor. What? What were you given? A uh, benzo. What 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 was the I, medication? I, I'm not I'm, I'm not sure, but I, I did go to Yukon Meridia on uh, July 19th, the day before I had court. For what? Um, I, I went in there. I says, Hey, you know, I'm trying to get off drugs. Can we do a drug screen? And you know, I, I says I'm feeling a little antsy because I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And I, I was there approximately six hours, Your Honor. And they did give me a benzo. I don't remember exactly what it was. Um, then, then when I asked you the question on the 20th, in the last 48 hours, have you taken any drugs or alcohol or any prescription medication? Why did you tell me no? If you were taken it the day before at the hospital. You, you know what? I, I'm not sure. You're, I don't like to say I was, I was probably scared. That, that's all I can say. I don't want to, I'm not trying to BS you in any way, shape, or form. Y yes, you are. Oh, man. Because that's what you do. And you did it in the, in the context of this pre-sentence report. Because when you were asked to give your written version of what happened, Your Honor? Wait. I'm sorry. You said you did a couple of blows and fell out. Now, what the hell does that mean? Couple of blows and fell out. Can I elaborate? Yeah, I want to know what that means. I, I, I did a blow of what I thought was cocaine in my car, and I parked in McDonald's. Right. And what does fell out mean? You just. Okay. This is. I mean, this is. 
Your Honor? Th th these are phrases that I'm sorry. That I fentanyl didn't... users that overdose oh, regularly use. I, I never overdosed in my life. Okay. I'm just telling you yes, sir. where I hear that phrase. Okay. I, I kind of heard it in the jail and stuff. What I, I fell asleep in, in, in the... Uh, well, you weren't in the jail at the time you said that. Okay? No, I'm, I'm just were... saying you hear, you know... I, I know. No, again, no disrespect. I fell asleep in my car. Stop saying no disrespect. Because I'm yeah. not. I, I don't want to. Okay. I fell and asleep in my it, car. It, it, I know you did. I know. I know how the offense happened. Okay. My yes. interest was your choice of language. You did a couple of blows and fell out. Okay. Now, when when you were asked to provide your version during the pre sentence pre sentence interview. When asked if you need treatment, because you said this was stupid is what it was, okay? When you asked uh, if you need treatment to avoid future stupidity, you replied that you think you can make your own treatment. You, I am not a head person and not comfortable getting deep. The defendant would ask the court to sentence him to time served and let him go home, advising that the court will not see him again. So I, I don't think you, you have any concept of the peril you're in from your activities. Can I elaborate, sir? Yeah. Um, on the pre-sentence investigation, uh, apparently I just I, I wasn't real elaborate or deep of what actually happened. I don't I don't recall asking for a written statement of what actually happened. Well, I know you wrote what, it. Okay. And, and one thing you wrote at the beginning of it was to whom it may concern. Okay. One day I was off enjoying myself, and a female friend of mine suggested we obtain some cocaine, which we did. Yes, sir. However, this wasn't what I thought it was supposed to be. After making plans with her, I dropped her off and went to McDonald's. Okay. So. That, that's why I was left so it's really, head. it's really you wouldn't have done this but for the female, right? I mean, we we're doing it together. I know, I know. She got you something that you didn't know what it was. You thought it was just cocaine. Then I was sleeping. Right. You thought it was just cocaine. Yes, sir. Okay. How long have you been doing cocaine? Uh, on and off for some years, and like I said, in the last six months. Again, there's no justification to it, Your Honor. I know there's no justification. Uh, the question is whether you're ever going to stop. I mean, there's two ways you're going to stop. You're yes, either going to decide you're going to stop with the help of some clue about treatment, or you're going to be dead. Those are the only two ways you're going to stop. Uh, can I elaborate, sir? I, myself... I'm 53 years old. I've been through a lot. I I don't even want to do any drugs. I want I, I want to go back to work. I want to take care of my home, and I want to take care of my father. He's all I have in this life. Well, didn't you want to do that before I, I, two well, months ago? Before what? Before two months ago when this happened, didn't you want to do that? It, well, you know well, what? But you didn't do it. Your Honor? I didn't hear the last thing you said, sir. I said, but you didn't do it. I, I went to the McDonald's, sir, and, and, and I fell asleep. I, I know. I, I was off my I was off my game, Your Honor, and, and I apologize deeply, man. Excuse the phrase. Okay, that's all well and good, except whatever. What what's going to change with you? What's going to change is is I, I, life's too short. Life's right. too short. But, I can't. Hey, you but, know what? But, but six months ago, it was too short, too, right? Yeah. When you were doing all this stuff. Yeah, you know I, why you're doing it? Because you can't stop doing it. No, that's not true. It is true. You've right. demonstrated that that's true. No disrespect, sir. Don't say that. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. Don't stop okay. saying no disrespect. Okay. Because I don't want to. Yeah, I, I don't take any. I, I don't take any disrespect from anything you're telling me. Okay. Right. I, I just don't want to act in any kind of way where you think I'm conveying disrespect to you. I have nothing to do. I, I, I don't think you're conveying disrespect. I think that you're somewhat delusional and thinking you don't have a problem when every objective indicator says that you have a problem. Yes, sir. 
And the question is whether you're going to do anything about it or whether you're going to go out there and, and, you know, you seem to like this cocaine stuff, okay, but there's all kinds of fentanyl in cocaine, right? I, 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 there's all kinds of fentanyl in pills. Everything. Okay? Didn't, and so you keep, you, <clears throat> you keep conducting yourself the way you're conducting yourself, and you're going to end up dead. There's, there's no question about that. Yes, sir. So the solution is for you not to go back over to the jail and go home. That's not the solution. That's the problem. That's setting you up for dead. I, I just don't want to, when I am released, have walk out to have nothing. Well, w well, if you walk out now, okay, then you'll have dead. That's what you'll have. I disagree with you. Your well, you, you can disagree all you want, okay? But I'm I'm looking at your history, and I'm not talking about when you were 30. I'm talking about in the last couple of months. Yes, sir. I, I just... Uh, I try Where to do you get your cocaine? Off the street. Oh, what, it's just laying on the street if I walk out no, to no, Erie? Sir, yeah, right I just where? have to make a few calls. It, it's, it's getting harder, actually. Okay, no, it ain't getting harder. You, you, I mean, where, where do you go to get it? Cleveland. Where? Do you ever go to the BP on 185th and Neff? Do you ever go there to get it? No. It's not hard to get. You can pull up to the gas pump, and somebody will walk right up to you. So don't tell me it's hard to get, okay? I'm not an idiot, I, I, all right? Again, no, okay? I'm not trying to. guy today was telling me about a, a Holmes and 152nd where he gets, 140th and Lakeshore. You can get it anywhere. I, I just okay. went around the MLK area. Okay. Was familiar with. So, so you can get it. You can get it any time you want to get it. And you don't need to go to Cleveland to get it. You can go a block down this way and you can get it just as easy. You go up to a gas station near 84 and you can get it right up there. Okay? So don't tell me it's it's getting harder to get. Okay? Don't, can't. don't bullshit me, man. I'm not trying to. Okay? I'm not trying to, Your Honor. Okay. Yes, you are. Oh, you are. You are. Can I, can I elaborate one more time? Yeah. I, I, you know, I, I know it's probably not going to happen, but I, I just wanted to be there for my pop. And he's getting his bladder removed in a couple of days. I, I just got an enormous okay. amount of bills to pay. I do have the money. I'm a good saver, but I, I just... I know, but you're no good to your pop dead either. And, and I, I don't think you have the first clue about where you're at in your life. I know where I'm and at. it's a damn shame because you can go out there and earn a, a very good living. And no, you I have don't. earned a very good living. Okay. I but do. you're screwing it up and you're screwing up your existence on earth with your activities. Sorry to to this court, Your Honor. Yeah. Ms. Bell? Thank you, Your Honor. Um, it's abundantly clear. Uh, that the defendant needs treatment. Um, and it's discouraging that while this case has been pending, the defendant committed another offense while out in bond on this case. It's discouraging all the positive, uh, positive tests that we have. Um, and it's ex I find it extremely troubling that when the defendant does use drugs, he's out in public in his car behind the wheel, potentially putting himself at risk and everybody else who's out on the road that day at risk. However, uh, the state doesn't believe that prison would be appropriate in this case, um, so the state would ask for community control sanctions to include JTP. Thank you.
All right, I've reviewed the pre-sentence report, the drug and alcohol evaluation. I've listened to you, I've listened to counsel. I've considered uh, all provisions in 29, 29, 11, 12, and 13. Put you on community control for three years. You're going to serve 74 days in jail with credit for 29. The last 30 days are going to be in a jail treatment program. You're going to complete that and follow all recommendations. You'd have no drugs or alcohol, and you'll be screened. You're to attend at least three AA meetings a week and get a sponsor. You're to uh, utilize only one doctor, one dentist, and one pharmacist for prescription medication. If you are prescribed medication, you're to take it only as prescribed. You can assign releases for probation, obtain full employment, and pay the costs and fees. You understand the terms? Yes, sir. If you don't comply, the state will file a motion to terminate your community control. If I find you violated, I'll terminate you and you face 12 months in prison. You understand that? Yes, sir. If that That's happens, something. when you get out, you might be on post-release control for up to two years under the parole authority with conditions. If you violate the conditions, parole authority could return you to prison for up to nine months for each violation, up to one half of my sentence. If that violation is a new felony, you could get an additional consecutive prison sentence for that violation. The maximum sentence would be the greater of 12 months or the time they have left under post-release control. The remaining count is dismissed. Anything else, Ms. Bell? Just a forfeiture, Your Honor. Forfeiture to the state. Ms. Zacharias, anything else? No, Your Honor. Thank you. All right, we're adjourned. All right.